Here's a new tab to gather in some comics. Guess we're gonna read them. This way's a new tab, gonna tell you all about it. Hey everyone, it's me again, LazyDude99, and I am here because I want to give you my top 10 Marvel superheroes. Now, I have a top 10 superheroes out list out there, but for the most part, it's all DC characters. I mean, there are only three characters on that list that are from Marvel. So I thought, I'll just do my top 10 Marvel superheroes. But, um, there's a problem. I have already done this list before. The only problem is the first part of it was fine, but when it got to part two, apparently the list the the the, the video was too long and it couldn't be uh, accepted. It was like one second too long. And I had already deleted my previous copy. So I had no way of taking it off and so I just had to delete it all. So now I'm here to redo it because it wasn't in the greatest condition anyway. It was one of those lists where I just took the camera and showed a picture rather than edited. It was an unedited video. But here I am, so let's do my top 10 Marvel superheroes. Number 10. Daredevil gets the number 10 spot. Now, Personally, I have not read a whole lot of Daredevil, or really basically any. Like, uh, I have like read Daredevil, but I've never really bought Daredevil comics. Daredevil's on this list because I just like the idea of the character. He has a great costume, and the fact that you have a blind guy fighting crime, it, it's, a, it's a really interesting idea, and I love love his character. I mean, his character is, is a really well-written one. I know that Daredevil probably on most people's list gets way higher, but um, I don't really know a whole lot about Daredevil, so that's why he gets stuck number 10. Well, everybody, everybody in place number 9! Number 9 is Nightcrawler. Man, Nightcrawler is a cool character, man. I, I love him for the fact that he's just, a, he, for one thing, he's he's a funny guy, depending on which comic you read. For another thing, he's, he has a nice attitude for being a blue, a big furry, well, not furry, but he says he's furry, but, but being a blue character. You know, I don't know why, but blue just seems to be the colors for mutants. I mean, Mystique, Nightcrawler, and Beast, all blue. I mean, it's like Marge, Millhouse, and... Uh, Someone else has blue hair in The Simpsons, but I don't remember. And anyway, but uh, yeah, I just love Nightcrawler. His ability is a really cool one. The ability to teleport anywhere. The scene in X2, I just watched it yesterday. That's one of the best movie beginnings ever, where he's just going around kicking butt as his teleport ability. I just love the look to him, the, the, the way he's written. And Nightcrawler just gets number nine. Well, everybody, everybody in the place to number eight. The Human Torch. The Human Torch is one of those characters that, you know, you just kind of have to, you kind of have to like him. Like, most people like the thing better, but I just like the Human Torch. He's, he, I guess he, he, he appeals to my inner boy, you know, the, the one that just never grows up. The, the guy that's, you know, he's just all in it for the glory and the stuff, and he knows it, but, uh, you know, he'll save the world if he has to sort of thing. You know, the, the Human Torch is just a, he's just a great and funny character, and he fits perfectly with the Fantastic Four, um, who I, I just think uh, sometimes they, the Fantastic Four can get a little boring and scientific, it, but the Human Torch adds a whole new light to it with being just a playful, unscientific character. Of course, sure, the Thing isn't a scientific character either, but... But for me, the Human Torch. So, that go Human Torch earns number eight. Well, everybody, everybody number seven. Open up your mind and let your soul be free. I can feel the most shining on me, so... 
Number seven, Gambit, the Raging Cajun. Gambit is the definition of a cool character. I mean, and he has to be, because I hate the color pink. And that's his, the color, basically, of his energy stuff. It's just pink. I hate it. But I am a reasonable guy, and I know that Gambit is so is too cool that... I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, because, like, look at that. He has the perfect look. He has the, the brown trench coat and the staff. The, his, his, his staff is cool. His hair is... He doesn't really have a mask, but he has kind of an over thing. I don't know, depending on which comics you read. But he's just a cool character, you know. And um, I love the way he's written. How he, You know, he is not really a good guy. Well, he, he works on the good guy's side, but he's not like, you know, Wolverine is a bad guy, good guy thing. Uh, Gambit, Gambit's a character who, you know, he, he's a thief, but he'll, he'll go with the good guys because he likes them better than the bad guys. And that's probably the only reason, because they're more likable characters and more fun to hang out with, and they got Rogue, and he likes her a lot. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I just said Gambit is a, f I hate what they did to him in, like, he had virtually no screen time in the movie, uh, X-Men Origins. Wolverine, uh, that, they, why even put him in there if you're not even going to give the character any screen time? I mean, especially a cool character like Gambit. I mean, guys, what's with that? What is with that? I mean, it's just, uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, Gambit just, he's just, and I know you guys all agree with me that Gambit needs to be on the list. I mean, he's just too cool for school. Mombe. Uh, I, I can't do a Cajun accent. <laughs> Forget it. Anyway, moving on to number six. Everybody, everybody in the place number six. Open up your mind and let your soul be free. I can feel the most high shining on me, so. Wolverine. Now, I know some of you are probably surprised to see it. Let me just say, when I did do my first ultimate, er, not my. Not my first ultimate. When I did my first uh, top ten Marvel comic superhero list, Wolverine was at number ten. Mostly because I really didn't want him on the list. Because let me just tell you, for the most part, I got so sick and tired of Wolverine. I mean, he was everywhere. It was it everywhere I go. Whenever I got a comic, you know how like I don't live near a comic book store, so I get comics wherever I get them. Uh, every convenience store I would go to, they wouldn't really hold anything DC, but they would hold a Wolverine comic book. And so, you know, I'd take what i get, and I was almost tired of getting forced to read Wolverine, basically. Almost, because I just, it wasn't forced, of course, but I felt forced. That was until, like, I, I started reading different stuff, and I started really liking Wolverine, especially that, um, Wolverine Origins right there. I, I, after I read that, I really started liking Wolverine better, and I no, I'm like okay. I I also was a little pissed because uh, Wizard Magazine named Wolverine the top superhero character ever, and he named they named Batman second, and so that really just pissed me off. But um, I I I've had to come to grips with I do like Wolverine. He is a cool character, and so. And that's why he he makes it all the way to number six. I mean, he's a really tragic character. He and he, he is a really, but he's really he does have that macho tough guy that if you aren't you know if you see it too much it gets annoying. But you know when it's placed in the right mode and the right tone, he is a very likable and very interesting character. And the only problem I really have with Wolverine is that sometimes, depending on who's writing him, he has a problem with killing people. You know, sometimes it's like, ah, oh, I can't kill them, I'll be just as bad as them. And then other times it's just like, die, 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 Bob, die. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just, um, you know, so, you know, he's not really consistent in his moods. So, I don't think that Wolverine should ever have a problem with killing people, because he kills people all the time. Anyway, that's just the way it goes. So, Wolverine gets number six. See the rest of my list, go to part two.